So the Nike Joyride is a new Nike running shoe slash kid shoe that Nike's released. That is supposed to be kind of their new technology that they've been flaunting. But I think that this shoe actually has a couple major flaws in it that I wanted to point out to you guys in this video. What is going on guys? Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. But as I mentioned in this video, this shoe is one of the new Nike like running shoes. $180 price point on this Flyknit Joyride technology with this new crazy bubble technology. And I did a couple videos that I thought would be good for this shoe. One of them was telling you five reasons why I thought you should try it. And then I did a video of me actually cutting these in half to see what these Joyride beads are all about. And finally, I did a video of me wearing these things after 30 days and some pros and cons of the shoes that I felt were there. And really, when I did a video for 30 days later, I cleaned these, if you guys didn't see in the beginning of the video, clean them really well. And I didn't let them dry yet, but after they were done drying, I realized we had a major problem. And the major flaw, in my opinion, on this shoe is that these are terrible, terrible in water. You cannot get these things wet. You can't step in large puddles. You definitely can't step in the water like I did. And you probably can't even wash them without a major problems happening. So you can see the two layers right here on the one that I cut open. So there's a really soft, thin, breathable layer. And then there's another soft, breathable layer here that's kind of a neoprene type material or a polyester or something like that. Then you have this little bean bag here that's really soft and stretchy material here. And that's the problem. If you get this thing wet, it doesn't come out. And as a result, you're left with these balls that get stuck in here with the water and they just kind of clump together and there's no way to drain the water out. So for this pair, which smell absolutely atrocious, I went into the river, as I mentioned, because my kid fell in the river and I ran in. I didn't want to wear my shoes, but I ran in and grabbed them and pulled them out. And that was the primary like thing that got these things wet. I cleaned them up because they were real dirty. And after both of those things, like the inside is so foul. And I realized that this is an extreme case because I got them wet, but really there should be a disclaimer inside the box that says if you get these things wet, they're gonna be done. For those runners out there even though, can you imagine wearing these a bunch, getting a little stench in the bottom of your foot, trying to wash these and literally pushing the stench down on the bottom of where all the beads are and now they dry and it, it still smells. I mean, it's just terrible. So I'm actually gonna be re trying to return this pair to Nike. I, it's gonna be my very first pair that I've ever tried to return as defective because in my mind, that's a huge defective flaw of the shoe. You can't have a shoe, especially one that's designed for kids because this one came out in the Flyknit running shoe first, but it also came out with some kids exclusive models as well. I mean, those kids models are gonna be destroyed if they get them wet. Like my kid jumps in puddles and stuff, gets them all muddy. There's just no way to clean them and they're so expensive. It's just not worth your money to try the new technology. At first I thought it was just because it was fun, new, it was bouncy and fun and just different. Even though it was really a weird sensation on feet, it wasn't the most comfortable shoe uh, and it wasn't the most uncomfortable, but it just had a weird little bulbous feeling in the middle of the shoe. Th that's a game changer for me. The fact that these stink so bad after cleaning them, that's like a no brainer. The other thing is for kids, as I already mentioned a couple of times as well, kids will wear through this thing pretty fast, I'm imagining. And th if this gets ripped open, the beads are gone and you're littering ridiculously bouncy beads everywhere in the streets, it would be terrible. And I think that there's a lot of concern about that as well. So that's my follow up. I just wanted to let you guys know that that is a serious issue for these shoes. For the, anybody that actually wants to get these or anybody that has them, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about this. Like. Is this a serious concern to you guys or not? Personally, I think it's a big enough concern that it's worth expressing and I'm not happy about it considering I spent $180 on these and they smell like swamp water still after washing them really, really intensely, like twice, honestly, and it still smells terrible. It's just unfortunate to see. I mean, I love Nike's products and I love Nike's innovation and sometimes it gets executed really, really well. But then other times I'm just like, how did this pass QA? Obviously it, if it rains, it's probably not gonna be a big problem, uh, but it's not gonna be something that you can wash long-term and it's not something that you can get wet in the ocean, in the lake, in the water. Cool idea, but it's not gonna work. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, found the video informative. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted and have a great rest of the day. More videos soon, peace guys.